The big cleanup among the slums of downtown Johannesburg is finally getting underway. The city is preparing to clear out scores of rundown buildings. Officials say they want the occupants to move to emergency shelters. The people here have got four weeks to pack their bags. This building is one of hundreds the city has condemned as a health and safety hazard. It has fought through the courts for the right to kick them out. Finally emerging victorious this week in the Supreme Court of Appeal. Residents aren't happy to go, fearful of where the city is planning to house them. I see no, no reason why they must take us out here. Because they are saying to us, okay, you guys are too poor to stay in town. So you must go and stay in the shakes in, 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 in deep slot or clip down. Filthy place more than this. But why would anyone want to live here? The sewerage pipes are broken and the stench is unbearable. Almost every window is broken. There's no electricity or running water. A stand pipe provides that. The city says it's spending 10 million rand to house some of the thousands who will be rendered homeless. We have uh, acquired um, about four buildings in the inner city that will be used as emergency shelter to accommodate those people that have been evicted and are in desperate need for accommodation until they sort themselves out. But it's clear it's going to take more than four buildings and 10 million rand to house those in its sites. Around 70,000 people live in the slums that the city wants to clear. The Johannesburg City Council says there are many more buildings on its hit list. It says it's looking to serve notices on close to 200 buildings that are in contravention of health and safety regulations. McIntosh and Zimande, in News, Johannesburg.